Born into one of the wealthiest planter families in the South, Wade Hampton III would be remembered as one of the most revered leaders to come out of South Carolina. When the Civil War began, he was not eager for secession. He was not eager for to see a war. He ended up becoming the most successful and the highest ranking general from South Carolina in the Confederate Army. Hampton's Legion played a critical role in some of the early battles of the war. After healing from wounds sustained in the Battle of Seven Pines, Hampton was placed in command of a cavalry brigade. By the end of the bloody conflict, Hampton's fortune had been decimated. However, his political popularity grew. He is one of the first and one of the few white Southerners who are saying that white South Carolina owed something to blacks. If South Carolina did not enfranchise black voters, then the federal government would come in and do that. In 1876, the Democratic Party in the state looked to Hampton to restore the South's tradition of white rule in South Carolina. Hampton's campaign for governor in 1876 is known as the Red Shirt Campaign. He had a lot of followers who all wore red shirts and committed a lot of violence and intimidation and, and fraud. After the much contested election, President Rutherford B. Hayes successfully settled the matter by withdrawing federal troops from South Carolina, paving the way for Hampton to take office and bringing an end to reconstruction in the state. Hampton served two terms as governor, after that in the United States Senate. By 1890, Ben Tillman was occupying the governor's office and Hampton's policies of cooperation with blacks and Republicans didn't sit well with him. Hampton was forced to leave his seat in 1891.